Character name, Regron, Gravitational General. Originally debuted March 2016. Overall look and changes. If my mocks were characters in an RPG, Regron would be the tankiest of them all. Believe it or not, his build started out as a work-in-progress A-Train, but I switched gears after the torso turned out bulkier than I anticipated and decided to build Regron instead. He came together fairly quickly after that, as I had just scrapped all my Bionicle 2015 sets and had a lot of new parts to work with. He hasn't changed much since his initial release, so let's get on with the review. Character Bio Titles and Occupations Regron is a Toa of Gravity and is old enough to be considered an ancient Toa. He was created only a few months after Helrix and was immediately recruited to the Hand of Artaka and Helrix's Toa team. While working for the Hand of Artaka, Regron rose to the position of Military General. He oversaw and managed the warriors and agents of the Hand with the assistance of Glace, the lead tactician of the Hand's militia and fellow member of Helrix's Toa team. When the Hand of Artaka disbanded and Helrix founded the Order of Matanui, she extended an invitation to join the Order to every surviving member of her Toa team. Regron gladly accepted. Eventually, the Order was sectionalized into specialized divisions, and Regron was put in charge of the military division of the Order. As Master General of the military division, Regron's job is to command, train, and recruit agents and soldiers to the Order. The military division is currently the largest division in the Order, usually consisting of around 50 to 100 members. Most of the division consists of field agents that are spread out around the Matoran universe, and only about 20 soldiers are usually on Daxia at a time for the defense of the island. Personality Regron is known to be quite the outrageous character. There are times when he is jolly and charismatic, and other times when he is ruthless, loud, and bullheaded. It all depends on the situation. No matter the situation, however, he will always take any opportunity he can to show off his strength. Regron typically leads the military division with an iron fist. He never stops training his soldiers, even when they prove themselves in battle. Even so, the soldiers harbor no ill will towards Regron, because they know, if a war ever starts, Regron will be there, leading the charge. Abilities and Powers As a Toa of Gravity, Regron is able to create and control gravitational fields. But unlike other types of Toa, Toa of Gravity cannot absorb elemental power from their environment. As an ancient Toa, Regron is one of the strongest and most experienced Toa of Gravity ever created. He's gotten so powerful, in fact, that he can create miniature black holes with his elemental powers. Important Possessions Regron wears heavy ballistic gauntlets on each arm that are each equipped with dual chain guns and a grenade launcher. Even by themselves, these gauntlets are far too high-powered for any typical soldier to wield. Regron has to use his elemental control over gravity to ensure he isn't blown away by firing them. Regron wears a Kanohi Ibuki, the Great Mask of Density, which allows the user to change the density of their atomic structure to shrink or grow in size. Essentially, this mask gives him the same abilities as Ant-Man. Mach Analysis Inspiration and Theme Regron was built after his character was already conceptualized in Night of Night's Noxus' story, so I simply needed to follow Bionicle Canon with his mock design. As I was building him, I took inspiration from a Toho Project character with similar powers, and that character was Suika Ibuki. Regron's mask power was also inspired by some of this character's other abilities. Obviously, then, Regron uses Suika's theme, Broken Moon. Regron's version of this theme is a rock slash orchestral remix performed by DBU Music. Features. Other than his stellar good looks, Regron has no special built-in features. He stands 9.5 inches tall and 7 inches wide. Mach Articulation Regron has 21 points of articulation overall. 
he has a wide range of ankle articulation, a 120 degree knee bend, full hip articulation partially hindered by the waist cape, head articulation limited on the left and right, a decent range of shoulder articulation badly hindered going outwards, a full swivel and 90 degree bend in the elbows, and slightly hindered wrist and finger articulation. Interesting building techniques. Regron's head is entirely custom built with added mass details using system pieces. His torso is not only constructed out of two Vaki leg pieces, but they are also held together in a weird bent angle. There are several strange but legal connections on his torso due to this. The way these Mystica blade pieces mount on his upper arms allows them to dangle somewhat freely. When his arms are attached to the shoulders, they end up having a sort of shoulder blade effect. Notable flaws. As noted previously, Regron has a large amount of articulation issues, most notably in the neck, shoulders, and knees. Thankfully, he's not supposed to be the most agile, flexible character. As well as that, the chains around his waist have a tendency to kink in awkward ways, sometimes leaving the area around his waist in a tangled mess. Fun facts. Regron's eyes are claw pieces from 2016 Onua's Creature. They're held in place with friction, pinched between the rubber piece and the Hordika mask. His head design was inspired by Helrix's custom head, and they are meant to look similar to each other. Overall thoughts and criticisms. Overall, Regron is one of my better looking, but not very interesting mocks. I'm quite proud of his build, but I admit he doesn't ooze character like the majority of my other mocks. This is probably due to the slightly overdone black and silver color scheme, so he may be due for a bit more trans purple splashed throughout his build. While I don't have any plans yet, I will definitely take any opportunity I can to fix this issue, and the issues with articulation. What would you rate this mock out of 10? Any questions about the build, or the character? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, thanks for watching.